future drop on recall faster. So this is only for the drop portion. I'm working speed outside of the drop, but right now what I'm trying to do is get my young two-year-old dog how to respond to my drop signal as soon as I give it. So I find this is something that I need to train into my dog um, because when they're young, you give them the signal, they take a, a couple of steps, three steps. I want them to, to go stop as soon as I give that signal. So these are a couple of ways that I am conveying to him that when I give my signal, you stop. So there's two different techniques I'm going to show at this time. And one is he knows how to stand on this mat and the parameters of the mat. So you need to basically stay within the area of the mat. So this will help him to be able to drop when I ask him to because it will give him some parameters of where to drop and something that he is familiar with. What I want to do is get success and not have him drop and then have to try to get him to do it right. So this is one technique and the other technique I'm gonna show is by putting a cookie on a plate which will be behind him so his reinforcement will be backwards. Okay, he's obviously ready to get going, so we're gonna start. If your dog is familiar with platform training or go to your mat training, they're, they're, they should want to go to this as soon as you put it down because they become very magnetized to these things. If you're not familiar with how to teach this, I do have a couple of um, videos on my website on platform training and how to get all this started. So this video is not on that, but I'm going to um, place it down right now. Wait, wait, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. And I don't wanna tell him not to wait when he's so magnetized to it and, and, and likes it so much, so that's cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do for starters is I'm going to get him to go to drop on it a couple of times. And I'm gonna do both verbal and signal. Good. Dunk. Very good. And I'm gonna give him his reinforcement by placing it up here. Then I can give him his reinforcement by doing a reset into the stand position. Okay, talking, he sat, but that's okay. Wait. Yep, good. And I give him his reset, he can stand up. Now, we're gonna put some distance in. So let's come up here. <laughs> good boy. Good, up sit. Good, wait. And see what happens. Set, hurry, down. Nice, very nice, nice, very good. Okay, let's try again. Good boy. That was awesome. Good. Good. Wait. Step, hurry. Done. Good boy. So now I'm going to try the signal. Break. Yeah, good boy. Okay. Good. Wait. Mm. So hurry. Good boy. Very nice. Yep. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good. Just to be different, I don't want to be predictable every time we do the same thing. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit. That was perfect. And the next one I am gonna do is going to be a straight recall because I don't want him to start anticipating and slowing down once he gets to the mat. So um, I would actually, if I weren't doing this on a video, I would be intermixing my drops with call throughs. I'm gonna finish with that. Yay. 
good. Wait. Seb, hurry! Very nice. Yep. Good boy. Okay, very good. Here's Seb. Good. Okay, what I'm going to do now, Sid, is put this plate behind him and put a treat on it. Wait. Of course, your, your dog has to know this tree training. Move this. And when I ask him to drop, I'm going to release him back to the plate. So hurry, down. and get it you, you whip around you get a front so you know the biggest thing is don't be predictable make your training a game